just like we've talked about. We are going to go live right now into the ninth round, and we are going to get this one underway. Ace versus Mouse Baz Inferno, the first season of Pro League. And we're going to see them see who gets to pick of the litter. It's CT side, obviously, the more favorable side here. This is an interesting little, you know, silly statistic is that Mouse Pass is actually, or, uh, they're undefeated in knife rounds, but they're going to get well, cleaned up here. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah. They've started CT side in all five of their matches, and they've actually ended up losing all five of their matches. But <laughs> <laughs> It might be better that they lost the pistol round. This right. could be an omen. Maybe if they win, they might just want to start, start Terra side from here on out. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, we are live on three into the server. Pistol round coming at you guys. Ace going to be starting on the CT side. That's Monty, Pex, Disciple, Vez, and Max Aki facing off against Mouse Spaz on the Terra side. That's Impsta, Zek, Demise, Polly, and Fruit. And we're going to see what these teams have for us here as we start this one off. A little late to get out of spawn with the bomb. is going to be the last man out. And I believe was Impsta. Buying up that Tech 9 and no armor. So they didn't go for any kind of a pistol drop or anything like that in this first gun round. We'll see whether or not that pays off for him as Emsta is going to be two shottable or actually one clickable as well from those headshots from the P2000. Yeah, and very fast boiler. And actually, this is spotted by Ace, the rotation of the bomb site. But Mouse Buzz actually show, slows down. So they put some pressure up mid, and now they're going to fall the bomb back. And they have got the rotations they wanted. This looks like it's going to be a mid beast, but the bomb is working its way over towards me. Monty gets the first one, and Mouse Buzz is stopped from entering Arch side. Yeah, but Zek with the rebuttal is going to be able to find Max Aki. Monty finds a second one as well, and that's going to leave Zek. Oh, he's a sitting duck in mid. Disciple going to go ahead and execute him. The only man over at B is going to be Vez. Can he hold on to it? Two members encroaching on his position now. And that's going to be Polly. He doesn't check the angle. Does manage to turn around and clear him out. And Emsta is going to be able to pick off one. Pex goes right back into him, so it's down to a two versus one. Bomb yet to get planted. And right around the corner with the tech, or with the 5-7 is going to be Disciple. Takes him down. That's 2K on the round for him. Monty, nice hold on arch side. And that's going to be the first round on the board for Ace Gaming. Yeah, a little bit of a mistake there from Epsa. He pushed the tree, got to, gets a kill, but he had the bomb. So he immediately gets traded off, and there's no chance for a plant, and no chance really for Polly to win that one and two afterwards. Uh, so, you know, he had the smoke cover to get into the site and plant, but he just had to push through it. I don't think he maybe didn't realize he had the bomb, but... Uh, a little bit, a little bit silly there. So they they actually don't buy armor. They they just upgrade their pistols on the terror side, probably because they didn't get a bomb plant. All right, so we are going to be seeing them go into this round with a reasonable eco purchase. They did pick up a couple of pistols here. No armor to be spoken of. Demise does have a flashbang, so we'll see where they decide to go with that. And so they are kind of grouping up here in Banana, so they could be just walking into the blender here. And MP7 in the hands of uh, Vez and also his counterpart's going to have one as well. That's going to be Pex. So we're going to see them try to hold down this bomb site here in just a second. I'm following in the eyes of Pex right now. He's going to be at the point of contention. See the first one that's coming over. There's the flashbang. They're going to go ahead and push out. Peck's going to be able to find one, finds a second one, looking for a third. He is going to be able to find that, but Vez is going to be there to support, and it's a clean round there from the <laughs> CT side, completely obliterated. Yeah, just right into the blender, and they get mowed down. Those SMGs go nuts, so Pex is rich as hell right now. 5,400 for him. Vez got two on that round. He's up to 4,500, so that bonus money or the, the, the kill money uh, is just huge for him. So Mouse Spaz giving up a lot of economy there and have nothing to show for it. All right, and again, Pez with the with the classic shake and bake on the mouse crosshair. He was, people used to always call him out because they thought he was cheating because he jiggled his mouse so much when he when he sprayed, and that was case in point right there. It's a beautiful thing, classic Pex, and classic mow down at the B bomb site. So <clears throat> again, it's going to be pick your pistol of choice here for the terrorist side. No bomb plant means no no rifles into the third round, and they're going to have some five set. Or pardon me, I don't even know what half I'm playing. They're going to have some P250s and a Tech Nine to boot. <laughs> So we're going to see if they can execute in towards the A-bomb site this time. Sorry, you get the mistakes out early. McSackie's going to be the first one to spot somebody. But he's just playing the angle. He's just shoulder peeking, and he, he kind of just calls it out. They have the information, but once again, Mousepass has taken brackets control, and they're coming over towards this wrap side. McSackie has no support at the moment. He's just playing the corner. He spots him once again. And now he's just going to mow him down, but Amsta trades him out very quickly as they try and make their way into CT spot. It's going to be all on Vez. He's got a lot of work to do here. But he's got him at a narrow choke when he sprays down the first one. But he can't get any more than that, so he falls. And now it's all Pex, who's very, very alone. Yeah, but the damage has kind of been done there. Vez did a good job getting a couple of them low, so peeking out. Pex shouldn't have too much of an issue taking a couple of them down. There's two and three. So locking it good down night. in the backside of the bomb site. Very good job from him. 
Yeah, well, that could have been very scary, too. He does got the Colt, but, you know, they had a rifle off that, so if they were able to take Pex out, all of a sudden, you're battling against a rifle trying to, uh, trying to retake the site with a FAMAS and an SMG on the, on, in the A site. So that could have actually been very scary, but you're right, uh, nicely done by Pex there. And that's just more money in the bank. Three more SMG kills for him. That makes six on those two eco rounds, so that's a, that's a ton of money. Yeah, and again, we're going to see a full rifle by now for the first time in this matchup. And Max Aki already with the AWP, and we'll see where he decides to go. He's going to be playing there on mid, but a fast push-up banana that could get caught out here. And Vez playing from Sandbags. He's got support from Pex. Very aggressive from the CT side. Good flashbang work. That molly around the corner. That's going to catch Zach. Does get out of it in time. He's down to 29. Yeah, one more grenade could do a lot of damage. Pex was, a, Pex was a little bit scared to peek to commit to that fight too much, but either way, they do have the man advantage, and now they can just fall back and turtle into the site, but they're going to chase Fruit down. They do clean him out. Three members still over towards the B site. No progress has been made at A. That's Maxaki with the op playing at the corner. They come out boiler on him. He doesn't see it. He's got to be careful, so he just falls back. And rightfully so. Bide his time for a little while longer. He's got support from Monty, who's working his way over from the arch side. We'll see whether or not they actually decide to push around this corner. This could be detrimental to the terrorist side as Monty is right there waiting for it. There's the flashbang and Monty biding his time. If he peeks out now, he's going to be able to catch one. Almost gets the second one. Maybe not the snap that he was looking for, but Pex is there for the mow down. Takes down the last 2-4-0 for Ace Gaming. Yeah, great rotation, and that kind of, you know, that, that bait by Pex there was done very, very well, and that's that's kind of what you're allowed to do when you're up five on three. They rotate one over who takes a fight in Archway, gets one kill before being killed off, and then Pex just comes in. He can just dry aggressively peek because they have the number advantage, and, and no one's expecting him to be there so quickly. So that was all done by the early round advantage they got from that triple push, and now we're going to see... A force by at a mouse pass, mostly Galil, some utility behind it, but they do open up on a Maxaki who misses with that AWP, but he actually legged uh, Imster who gets taken out with a nade, and actually so much damage is done with these grenades. Look at all these mouse mouse players, so low. Yeah, and again, I don't think that Max Aki actually legged anybody. I think he just lobbed his nade down mid. They double nade stack down middle and caught him out. Really, really painful stuff there. Mouse pass with three members already sub 60 HP. The only one with any kind of HP to have really mentioned right now is going to be Fruit. They're trying to make a little bit of a play up mid. That's Zach. He's going to get caught here by Disciple. Taken down immediately. And now that bomb is working its way over towards the B-bomb site. Peck's already on the rotation. But that's going to be Vez mowing down the first one. Spraying through the smoke. Finds a second. Can he get the last? That's Fruit. And Pex is going to go in on him a little bit and take him down to 72. So Fruit, the bomb is down in front of the smoke. He's really got nothing to do here. Yeah, no. Absolutely nothing. He's not getting pushed from behind, but the bomb is down. And with 40 seconds left... You can try and do a little bit of damage. There's really no hope to winning this round, and that was just kind of... That was a force bar that didn't really seem to have a plan behind it, and obviously those nades being tossed down mid does a lot of damage early on. Kind of slows them down very, very much, but... Now Spaz, none of these rounds, they, they haven't been able to get anything going on, really. I mean, just looking at the scoreboard right now, it's just completely yeah. one-sided. I mean, you look at it... With the exception of the pistol round, this has been the most damage that they've been able to do on any of the rounds aside from the third. You've had two members alive in the first round, a five-man stand in the second, three in the third, four in the fourth, and three in the fifth. So that economy is bolstering right now on the Ace Gaming side. Yeah, and I can't, I gotta say, I don't really agree with that force by they just had last round this early on in the half, no reason to do that, especially they haven't gotten a plant yet, so, I mean, now the money bonus is going their way, but they're gonna have to save a little bit more to get four utilities, they're gonna have only tech nines and a P250 here, a couple smokes, so they may have some kind of plan, but it's gonna be another triple push down B. How is Fruit already down to 28 points of health? He had to have eaten a nade. I didn't see a nade go down mid, I think he actually got knifed from a teammate. <laughs> Wouldn't that be unfortunate? He's got armor too, so that's actually a big blow. He's one of their two members with armor. But it is only a solo play. That's Vez over towards Banana. He's about to get swarmed by these Tech Nines. He can't even take one out, and now the race is on. Pex and Monty have got to get in here. They're going to drop a Molotov in the choke point, but actually Mouse Pass slows things down so they don't commit to a B hit. And there's a huge rotation at the moment from Ace Gaming. Good pre-fire there from Pex. He's going to be able to catch out the wounded Zek. He only had like 8 HP to work with, and that bomb is going to work its way back towards the A bomb site. Let's see what Disciple has for us. The rotation is on. Max Aki coming around from CT spawn, but he's going to get there too late. And this is all on Disciple. Four players encroaching on his position. He's going to be able to find the first one. Can he get the second one? He's got Fruit coming around from the halls. Going to be able to take him down. Max Aki with the support is going to be able to find that one. And the last man standing is going to be Polly and Disciple going to war with him. Not able to kill him, but he does get him very, very low. 
That's going to leave Polly in this one versus three. Trying to get that bomb plant. Spamming around. Max Aki pegged him three or four times through the box. Finally getting it done. 6-0 now for Ace Gaming. What a what a half they're having. And Pex at 10-0. and Yeah, he's putting together a very, very good half. And look at his economy as well as, well as uh, Monty. He's got 9,800 right now. Pex is 11,000. So they're just rolling in the money. But this is what I talked about. Zex finally got an AWP in his hand six rounds in. We'll have to see what kind of damage he can do with it because he's you know, he's a player that they look to once he gets that op in his hands to create openings for him. And he's going to be going against, up against Max Aki's op up over in mid. Well, again, very aggressive strategy here from the CT side. They're going to go ahead and peek out. Nice flashbang work there. Vez going to find fruit. That's the first frag on the board. Nothing is going Mouse Spaz's way. Fully blind at the bottom of Banana. Monty's going to sweep one under the rug. That's Polly down and out. So already a two-man advantage here for Ace. They're losing that battle at Banana every single round consistently. They're losing it by a wide margin. They, they haven't even done damage yet to any member of Ace Gaming. So... They're, they need to just stay away from B. There's Zek goes down. Vez getting aggressive. Sprays him down through the smoke. That's the bomb down as well and the opera. So it's a two on five. Mouse Vez has to come up with something different to do early on in these rounds except for going B. It's just not working for him. Last two remaining players both in the boiler room. Imsta and Demise trying to get something going. They've actually rotated off of the arch side. So they've gotten free reign of the top side of mid. But now Monty is going to come back for the peak. He's going to be able to spot one out. Spraying and praying. Not going to be able to get it done. Demise does manage to get that frag onto him. But the damage has already been done. Oh, so many guns down here at the bottom side of Banana. Vez is going to be able to find one. Looking for the last one. There is a smoke there, and Imsta is going to be able to spray one down. Vez still looking for it. Not going to go for the pre-fire. Disciple cleans it up. A big round from Vez over in Banana, and again, a three-man stand, and they've got a double-op setup now on the CT side. Yeah, that, that triple push is just killing Mouse Spaz, and I'd be surprised if they keep going back to B. They need to find something to do over towards A, especially, you know, they should have identified by now, because it's been done a couple times on them, is this triple push, so they should know there's two players at A, so if they're able to get up mid quickly, if they can get up to brackets uh, aggressively, they, they, that's where their opening is going to find, and this round would be perfect for it. It's another triple push down B, so it's just going to be Maxaki with that AWP on the wrap side and one player on lane side, that's Monty, so, I mean, they, they can exploit this, but they're, they're choosing not to at the moment. And again, the early aggression here, three members over in the banana hallway, and they've kind of gotten a feel for what Mouse Spaz is doing. They send a couple members aggressive up banana, and now look at how passive they're playing it. They have sent Fruit all the way up to the top side of B. That pop flash comes around the corner and actually blinds him. Vez is very, very low. A couple of nades up towards his direction, and he's sitting on 15. So this is the best-looking start that they've had so far, but Max Aki's going to make sure that that doesn't come to fruition as he's going to be able to take down Demise. Nice AWP headshot from him. But three members of the east side are wounded. Let's see what Disciple can do with this op over at Banana. No, the terrorists are going to go ahead and fall back. Yeah, they, uh, Ace Gaming really has taken a lot of damage, but they'll take that man-up situation any day of the week. And Mouse Spaz, that's what I'm talking about in their mid-rounds. They've been spread out, and they don't really have a plan. And now they finally reconvene over towards the end of Banana. They're going to be going up against Vez and Disciple. Vez still has a smoke to use, and Disciple's got a nade. So he's going to deploy this smoke, and that'll give it to about 19 seconds before that clears. They might just have to go through it. Very difficult situation here for the terrorist side. It is a four on five, so the man advantage going the way of Ace Gaming, but the HP values are definitely favoring the terrorist side. Nice shot from Disciple. Vez does manage to take one more out. And finally, Disciple goes down. Zek with a couple of back-to-back -back frags there to light him up a little bit. He's going to try to get up that AWP, and he's got one coming around around the corner. He's going to find that off shot, so a big 3K for him so far this round. Let's see what the CTs decide to do. They've got one flanking from Banana. They've got one in the CT spawn. And Zek with that AWP, he's trained on that position. He knows that one's going to be coming from around the CT spawn side, and that's going to be Monty. Flashbang around the corner. What can they do here on the CT side? Zek does get fully blinded. Is he going to be able to find the shot? One over in water. Zek going to miss the first one. Going to go for the re-peak. One coming in, gets the second frag. That's his quad on the round. And finally, Mouse Spaz with a little bit of life breathed into him as they pick up their first, but it only comes in the eighth. Yeah, a really nice win there. A really nice take on that B bomb set and then the hold in a two on three situation. So, well done by them. And it, it was off the back of it. I mean, Ace Gaming has been so aggressive at certain por portions of, of these rounds, and that's kind of what's helped them you know, be so dominant at the 7-1 to scoreline, but all the damage that Mouse Spaz did early on in the rounds just prevented them from being making the plays they wanted to make. So, a nice take there for Mouse Spaz and showing a little bit of life, but I mean, this is the crucial round. This is the round they absolutely have to win if they want this to be a close half. And again, Rotador pitting us with some nice statistics. Vez so far in Pro League, even though they're 0-5, he's sitting on a .324 headshot percentage, which is pretty damn high.
Especially five matches in. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good performance from him so far, but this is more of Mouse Spaz just trying to take this banana curl. They're going to do the boost. Actually, he does. He managed to take him out. He has him in the open, but he misses the second shot, so that's going to give Pex and Vez the opportunity to fall back. They are hit down pretty low, about half HP, and there's Vez eating some fire, eating a nade, and just falling quickly. So it's going to be all up to this A-hold. Maxaki's got to find the equalizer here for his team. Zex trying to work his way up, but Maxaki's got the angle on rap side. And he's actually peeking out a little bit wider than you typically see an AWP player playing. He's going to drop a nade right directly on Zek. That's 47 health left for him. Maxaki misses the first shot. He's playing from Cubby. They've kind of got him hooked on here. And finds the first one. Looking for Fruit right around the corner. Fruit's going to go for the peek. Maxaki makes him pay. And they didn't clear out Pit and Disciple from Balcony. He's going to find the last two. And just like that, Mouse Spaz. Even though they got that bomb plant, their money is not in a good situation whatsoever. Yeah, it gets reset here, and that was great patient play from Disciple. All the smokes that went out actually bailed him out of the situation. I let them get into the site to plant, but, I mean, no one even looked up towards him at all. There's so much damage was being done by Monty and Maxaki over at the rap side that Disciple kind of got forgotten about in the pit in the balcony, and he's able to spray a couple down. So nicely done by him. That resets the economy, like we said, and then Mousepaz forced to go down to Tech 9s here. That was their first plant. No, actually, no, the last round they held it. So they've gotten two plants in the last two rounds, but... This is looking very dire for Mouse Spaz. Yeah, and again, with the with the Ace Gaming side, they had three members alive at the end of the last round, so really not that bad on the economy. They are getting lower on the money situation, but they should be fine for the next round as well, even if they do drop this one. But they're just going to go ahead and push through that Molotov, and that is just unnecessary damage that they're taking. Monty picks off too. Max Aki around the corner is going to find the off frag. Peeking out with the P250. No fear from this man. Let's see if he goes for the repeat. He does, but he's going to miss that shot. And Disciple again, raining death down from above. As he was up on the balcony, Pex comes by to sweep up the last one, and that's going to be a ninth round now on the board for Ace Gaming, another three-man stand. Maxaki is uh, he's taking that peak with the pistol after the op shot like he's got the, the 20 ping that he's used to in Europe, but it's not going his way, so can't connect with them, but still just a dominant half right now for Ace Gaming. And it's, I mean, look at the spread as well. It's X Disciple and Vez, all with 11 or 12 kills, uh, just leading the way. Just a great team effort so far out of Ace Gaming. Good rotations and, and very good job of playing their man advantages. Yeah, interestingly enough, Pex was 9-0 and at one point, and then he's kind of fallen off a little bit, but Disciple has been there to clean it up. We do see a little bit of a more passive setup here from the Ace side. Molotov to follow. They're going to go ahead and run on through. Fruit's going to meet his demise at the hands of Vez. Now they're going to try to go around the corner. Vez is going to find a second one before he gets eliminated. Imsta with a double. Vez with a double. The nade around the corner. Max Aki's going to find one. That's going to be Imsta down and out. Max Aki coming around from the back halls with the AWP. They have yet to get that bomb into the site. And he's going to go ahead and make sure that that doesn't happen. Takes down one more. That's Polly down and out. And Demai is going to be your last man standing in this one versus three. That was fantastic nade work by Ace. Demise really nothing left but to get cleaned up by Disciple there. But... That smoke comes down, they lose both players in B, and a double nade from Exaki and one of their teammates right over towards first charges. It blows one player up, and they Molotov right on top of it immediately after. So, Polly goes to pick up a bomb, but he's just getting burned alive, right down to 30 HP. So, so much, so much uh, hectic action going on during that retake that Mousepaz players just couldn't get set up properly, and they get cleaned out. So, it's going to be another save out of him here, as that money bonus was reset a couple rounds ago. And they're just getting beat up at the moment. 10-1 to 1 here for Ace Gaming. Yeah, and it's like you said, you know, Ace had a very strong T side against Key Stars last week, and they're already off to a very, very big lead going into that second half on the terrorist side. So if they're able to lock it down again, we're probably going to see this one end very, very quickly. Yep, and just on the Zika run, they don't really, they, they have one flashbang to use on Imsta, but. I mean, they don't have a smoke to block off this opera. Maxaki might have a field day. He does flick over towards Boiler, misses the shot. Molotov's behind him, so no one can push. It looks like he wants to keep going. And I like that smoke play that he had. They they pushed one up mid, and he smokes off the top of Banana just in case they're trying to lurk that bomb around. And now Max Aki's going to come under contention here. They've got one over in CT spawn. Completely blinded. They're pushing through Pex. Trying to line him up. He's going to be able to find one. Pulls out the P2000. Not able to get a second one. Polly's going to be able to take him down. But Vez is there in support of his teammate. And no fallen comrade goes unavenged by Pex. And that's going to be an 11 to 1 scoreline now for Ace Gaming. What a tremendous half they're having right now in Mouse Spaz. They just have no answer to this. 
Yeah, you're exactly right. And I like that you pointed out that smoke that Maxaki threw. I, I mean, he he, gets, he sees him and he throws it. That allows one teammate, the support player over at the B-bomb site, to rotate over. It means that his teammate there can hold on to his smoke a little bit longer in case that isn't a full-blown execute up mid. So very, very well done. And here they go back to the triple push once again. Nades are out, but Mousepad's not going anywhere near. It looks like they want to do another fast mid strat. And again, them dropping those flashbangs in front of car just completely negates any kind of a push that they might have had from the terrorist side, but... They're gonna try to congregate here in mid and try to push up. No smoke in mid. Max Aki oh, barely misses that AWP shot. Didn't expect him to strafe back out. And now he's gonna go all the way back over to truck side. They rotate one player over. That's gonna be Monty. Drops the Molotov. Holds him at bay. They are up slots. And let's see what Monty's got. He's gonna be completely smoked off. Drops another one around the corner. That's gonna give him a little bit of leeway. Polly's going to make him pay. Fruit finds Pex. And now we're down to a three versus five. And the terrorists are going to go ahead and filter in towards CT spawn. So this is all going to be on Vez now. What can he do? He's got the M4A4. So he's got plenty of bullets to make it happen. But it's going to be a five-man push in towards the B-bomb site. One coming around from back halls. That's going to be Ems to the first. Up. Oh, nope. I thought it was going to be the first casualty. But Max Aki on the rotation. He's going to find two. Can he get more? No, he cannot. Emsta, he's having a field day this round. Two big frags for him. Disciple going to be your last man standing. Coming up banana in a three versus one. Yeah, nicely done there for Mousepass. I mean, that's one of those rounds where they just they got the trade for X to go their way, but a nice shot by Disciple working his way around the edge of the smoke, finds a kill. He's got Demise and Polly to find here. Demise just playing behind the box, and Polly's got a great crossfire set up. And Disciple's actually going to look for it, but can't win the fight. Polly cleans him up with a headshot. That's going to be the second round for Mousepass. And it's coming really, really late here. If they're able to make this an 11-4 half, it's going to give them a little more breathing room. But right now, they're still in jeopardy. If they lose the second half pistol, this is pretty much as good as over. Well, uh, you know, this... Yeah. I mean, this is uh, this is just kind of a beat down right now, so... They've got to find something. Oh, another knife as well. Maybe you said it was that was the damage that was dealt that one round very, very early on, and they actually just knifed Zek down to 70 HP, so... Alspaz not looking too sharp at the moment in any aspects. Put a good nade up banana to try to do a little bit of damage, and it's going to find the feet of Vez down to 61 HP. And again, this is kind of a strategy. Oh, wow, Vez. Never mind. Bye. See you later, Zach. That's the AWP down and out once again, and he might find another one. No. Fruit's going to be there. That smoke dissipating just in time is going to find that AWP frag. So we are on even strength 4-4. Four to four. Disciple right around on the bottom side of porch. He's going to get smoked off here by Emsta and a flashbang to follow, and that's going to leave it all on Pex over here by Cubby. He's actually going to get smoked off as well. And spamming blindly through the smoke, not going to find any damage on anybody, but all of the terrorists are going to be encroaching on that top side of mid. And we'll see whether or not the smoke fades in time for Disciple to peek out. That smoke is going to be falling here very, very soon. Disciple, he might have a field day here. He's going to be able to locate a couple of them. Lines them up, but can't get it done. Does tremendous damage. Pex is going to be able to find one in Monty all the way over the B-bomb site. This is going to be a long rotation from him. But all three of the remaining terrorists, two of them low, one of them sitting at a... Reasonable amount of HP, but Pex is going to have a lot of work ahead of him here. Yeah, he is, and he's, and he's got to do it through a smoke and through flashbangs. It doesn't really look promising. They're spending so much time behind this smoke. It might just be a save here, and that's exactly what it looks like, actually. Pex and Monty just falling off, and despite having such a huge a huge half uh, going their way at 11-2, to 2, they don't have the economy anymore, so it's been whittled down, and finally it's broken by Mousepaz, but... Heading into the last round, they're going to have to buy out anything they can. Peck should be able to drop at least a Famas, uh, but it's going to be a little bit of a weak buy on the side of Ace Gaming, so it's going to give Mouse Sports an opportunity to get up to four. Well, Monty going to do a little bit more economical damage here at the end of this round, and Polly's going to go down. And Polly sitting at 4,800 is not going to have any problem rebuying this round, but the story really is Demise, who's sitting only on 3,700. He gets a rifle from a teammate. And we'll see what happens here. They are going to throw another one over towards Fruit. So they will have a full buy here and plenty of utility nades. And Max Aki going to be on a 5.7, a couple of Famasas, an M4A1, and an AK on the CT side. So we'll see if they can lay it down for the last round. Nice nade down mid. Max Aki's going to find some damage on the poly. And not much of a retort from them. Yeah, very fortunate he didn't actually catch a bolt in the head, but he wins the damage battle. Just playing behind the smoke. And look at this aggressiveness in Hall's Disciple all alone. Pushed into bedroom here. There was another triple push down B, but they didn't have the Molotov, so they ended up smoking mid early. But Imsta can't clear it, so Disciple opens things up on him. Maxaki pushes into the window room now. They've got to be very, very careful. Demise is coming up the stairs right now into halls. He's going to try and clear this out. Disciple finds him looking the wrong way, so that's two early kills for him. And even Peck's trying again. This is a five on two very, very quickly. 
And that flashbang around the corner. Disciple, he's a little bit blinded himself, but that's going to push the terrorists back, and this might push him right into Vez, playing over there by the car in the B-bomb site. And if he bides his time here, he might be able to have a field day. Nope, he's going to go ahead and resign his position. And that rotation from Pex is on. Let's see what he decides to do. Molotov over to Sam Banks. He's going to alert them to their position, and he's still got a flashbang. Let's see what he decides to do here. He's going to go for a little bit of a pop flash. That smoke coming out from Pex. Flashbang around the corner. Peck spraying through the smoke. He's going to be able to find one. And that's going to leave Zek with only 30 HP and a dream. He's got a smoke and two flashes, but only 25 seconds and an AWP to work with. Going to be able to find one. Oh, and that smoke hits the post. It's not going to clear out the CT spawn. And he's only got 15 seconds and three CTs to deal with that bomb down underneath of the balcony. And this is just a very difficult situation for him right here. He's going to have to push in and basically perish here with no reply. And Fez peeks out, takes him down. 12-3 is going to be your halftime score. So Mouse Spaz, they got a couple in the late game, but is it going to be enough? Uh, it doesn't look like it. But, you know, it, it can be a CT. We talked about both these teams having struggles on CT sides. Uh, but, I mean, Ace Gaming there, should they brought a really good game plan uh, for their defensive half, and they just absolutely crushed Mousepass. So now it's going to be up to see if Mousepass has that same kind of preparation on their defensive half, and they need it. Uh, they need it very much because, I mean, you said they can't afford to lose the pistol round. Ecos are a crazy thing, but I, I think even so, they really do need that pistol round. You're exactly right there. Yeah, if they do drop this, they're going to be in danger of Ace Gaming going up to a thir or to a 15 to three scoreline before all is said and done. Before they even get a chance at a first gun round. And by then, Ace Gaming, with all that momentum that they had from the first half, they're just going to continue to carry it into the second half. And if they can run with it, then we could be looking at a 16-3. to And I think you said Mouse Baz, they've kind of had a consistent streak of only getting three rounds? Yeah, this is this is very tough. You know, you know what really scares me for Mouse Baz is that Zek didn't ever get his AWP going. You know, I know it's the terrorist side of, of Inferno, but there was nothing he really did with that gun, and that's going to be the struggle, really. And I mean, it's going to be the whole thing where they have to build up their economy, right? They have to string some rounds together. I mean, they have a whole thing. They have to do everything they didn't do in the first half, and that's what really worries me. So this is looking like it's going to go the way of Ace Gaming, and this is mu far more spread out in the scoreline than we actually, more than likely, anyone thought it would be. I'm right you are. And I mean, I, I predicted a 16-12, to 12, and Mouse Pass has a lot of work if they want to make that happen. Yeah, yeah, that's. I think your prediction's pretty much out the window. Don't worry, our statistician's prediction was 16-11. Yeah, his is pretty much out the window as well, so... I've seen crazier things happen. We have seen, that's true. We, we, should, we really shouldn't be writing this off. It just seems... We, we've seen some crazy, crazy comebacks, especially on this map that's so CG-sided. It's just... You know, Mousepass didn't show us really anything that would indicate that they're even into this game. And, you know, one of the... One of the thing, one of the big things too, is with these new teams, it's that composure level. Like, how do you? Uh, one of the things you really have to work on is staying mentally in the game. And when you get beat down that bad, uh, sometimes you just kind of shut down, especially as a new squad. So that'll be. We'll have to see how Mousepass re reacts to it. But I mean, th these are two teams that neither of us or, or no one really thinks are going to make the uh, be in that top four come the end of the season. But if they even want to stay competitive and, and getting to that top four, getting into the, you know cracking into the top half of this league. I mean, they're at 5 right now. They need to start winning right now, so they can't even afford whatsoever to, to mentally check out this early. The terrorists win. Right, and again, it's, it's one of those kind of things where at this point of the season, they just need to, you know, they need to win. They need to get these Ws, and it's like you said, if they want any chance of going to the global finals, then, I mean, they basically have to win out the season at this point. Because some of these other teams, yeah. the top teams in the division, they've got such a such a head start on these guys. I mean, what is it? Cloud9 undefeated right now, and uh, who else is undefeated at the current moment? Uh, Nihilum, Keatstars, and... And Cloud9, right? Is Cloud9 undefeated? I'm not sure, to be honest. Let me check. Uh, Keatstars and Nihilum are undefeated. Those are the only two. Cloud9... Oh, Cloud9's undefeated, but they didn't play last week. They're at 3-0. Um, Keatstars and Nihilum at 4-0. And, oh. and then we have CLG at 4-1 and one and Elevate at 4-2. and two. Luminosity at 4-2. and two. So, I mean, that top six is... is uh, I mean, it's still pretty closely contested this early on, but yeah, you're right. There's three undefeated teams, so looking good for those guys at the moment. All right, so once again, we're going to see the pistol round, and look at this. It's just going to be a push through the apartments, and they've got one man lurking down at the bottom side of mid, so they're just going to go ahead and cascade all the way out, and there's nobody playing on pit, so they're just going to get this bomb site for free, so... Maybe a mistake from the mouse pad side, that Tech-9 coming around the corner. Zek down and out. Peck's going to find the opening blood. 
And, I mean, what in the hell was that strategy? Look at this demise all the way up into the balcony. He's going to be looking for one in pit. He's going to get spotted out. Not going to be able to find much damage just yet. Disciple actually dinks him through the wall. Going to find some good damage onto him here in just a second. Trying to spot out for the top of his head. And Demise wins the battle. He's going to make his way all the way down into pit. Is he going to clear his angles? Vez is there. Going to find another one. Polly drops down from the balcony as well to try to support his teammate. He's going to come around the corner. He is able to take down Vez. And now the defuse comes out. Monty, your last man standing, finds one. That's the bomb defuser. And that bomb is going to blow. What the hell was that round? <laughs> that 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 was uh, that was just a, a retake A strategy from Mousepads, and it was just unfortunate that that's the that was just a blind counter from Ace Gaming saying let's rush halls. Uh, it, they they didn't have any information that was just called right out of spawn, so just a blind counter. Uh, I believe Anders, uh, you know, referenced StarCraft, uh, professional StarCraft. There's like the build order wins, where you just happen to pick the right build order that completely counters your opponent's strategy. So no matter what he does, he basically loses, and that's pretty much exactly what that was. And even so, they almost pulled it back, but nicely done by Ace Gaming and Monty there to really bail the round out. Yeah, you know, he, he flanked the flankers, essentially. I mean, he got himself up into apartments behind the two guys that came out of apartments. So, a good job from them. And again, we're going to see a little bit of a CT side stack here towards the B-bomb site. They've got three players over here. And one of them, very aggressive, already pushing through. That's Polly. He might be able to go on the big flank here and maybe this catch out Vez. Vez is looking for it, though. <laughs> I talked about that before this map started. That's what Paulie likes to do. He takes those gambles on the sides of the map, and if he doesn't find pressure, he just gets this massive flight going, and it doesn't work out there, but it was a good thought. He does a lot of damage, and they may be able to find a, a pretty easy kill later on uh, in this round. And again, that bomb is going to work its way back towards the A bomb site. but look at this. They're just walking their way in through behind the smoke, and... Couple of shots rain out. Disciple going to work with that Tech 9, trying to find something. He's going to go down to Imsta, but look at the rotation for the CTs. They've got three players over here, only one defending the A bomb site, and they're going to move that bomb on up. So a good read here from the terrorist side of Ace Gaming. They've got a lot of damage dealt to their players, but not clearing their angles in sight. Oh, demise. That's really unfortunate. He had so much time to get those kills, and if he would have been able to get that guy in the sight, he might have been able to play a little ring around the rosy, but Monty's going to go right back into Zek, takes him down with the AK, and that's going to leave it all on Fruit and Imsta here, and this is a very difficult situation for them to be in. Fruit already pushing in towards the site. Imsta's going to be able to find one. Fruit finds one as well. It's already down to a three versus two. No, Pex going to be in a one versus one against Imsta. He's working his way around on balcony. Can Peck stay alive long enough to try to win this round, clutch it out, and jump it up on top? It's going to be Imsta, but does he have time for the defuse? I don't believe so. He's going to go ahead and no. run away. But a big 4K from Imsta, and that does a lot of economical damage here to Ace. Yeah, that, that should have been possible. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. They found a gap. I, I think Pex was just barely blocked off. He was watching lane, uh, but just barely blocked off by a smoke that allowed Fruit to get into the site and do massive damage. And, you know, it was like that partially it was that flank from Polly that did so much damage earlier onto one player. Got him out of 16 HP, made him pretty much an easy kill once that retake came in. So far too close for Ace Gaming's liking, but they do run away with the round here. And it is going to be a force buy out of Mouse Pass, it looks like. So they're putting a lot of stock in he into this round here. And they kind of have to because they can't let Ace Gaming get to map point this early. they got to give themselves some kind of a cushion going forward. Well, if they're able to steal this one away, it might put the... Uh, well, it should put the Ace Gaming side onto an eco round. And we'll see whether or not they can capitalize on that. But right now, Imsta holding with this AK-47 over in the B-bomb site. And that looks like where they're gearing up to go here. And again, Demai is going to be very aggressive with the Mag-7. Pex is in the T-side apartment, so they might come to uh, see each other. But Imps is going to be able to draw first blood. But all the action's happening over at the B-bomb site. And look at that. Vez going to go into two. And Demai with that peak going to find Pex, but not going to be able to pull the trigger in time. And that bomb is going to get planted over here at B. Yeah, trades going the way of Ace Gaming. And that's something we didn't see mouse pass. They weren't able to do when they took that B-bomb site. They weren't able to trade efficiently going in there. And Ace Gaming kind of shows them how it's done. It's now quickly a four on two. The B-bomb site is... It's firmly in the control of Ace, and there's no chance of this retake, so they're going to have to fall off, and it's going to be another force by next round with just pistols and armor. And this is uh, this is the death rattle of Mouse Spaz at the moment. All right, so we are going to be on match point here for Ace Gaming. Mouse Spaz, they just haven't been able to get anything going for themselves so far this entire matchup, and you can see some of the reason why. Zex sitting at 6-17, and 17, Demise at 3-16, and 16, not having a good time at all on, their, on the Mouse Spaz side, so... Very difficult situation for them to be in, but again, this is going to be match point for Ace Gaming. And after this one's over, we're going to see Mouse Spaz a second time, but they're going to be playing a team that's four and one in the pro league. So, going to have uh, yeah. after their yeah, trials that's, that's and tribulations in this one, this is going to be a very difficult uphill battle for them going into the next match. <laughs> Even though it is cobble. 
Well, here, here's the thing: being a new, a new roster, a new, you know, basically a new team together. Mouse Buzz. I mean, Cobble's one of those maps you don't really touch until later on. It's not, you know, in the standard core map course or map map uh, selection. So you really, I mean, they've obviously they knew they had a match on it, so they've obviously looked at actually hold that thought. Here's Paulie making that push with a shotgun that he likes to make. He gets taken out, so now it's Zek trying to make something happen with a 5-7. Does massive damage to Monty down to 14 HP, but he's forced to fall off. Pex might be able to catch him, but he actually doesn't speed his way up the stairs, so... Ace Gaming is going to take a 5-on-4 advantage going forward into this round. And we actually, we got word a little bit earlier that this is the first time in 14 maps Ace has won more than 12 rounds, uh, or won 12 rounds on their CT side, so... A nice performance out of them in the first half is really propelling them to this, uh, to this victory here. Nice play from Disciples. Going to find some damage on the fruit over there in the pit. It's going to take him down to 47 points of health. They've got three CTs in the A bomb site, so very difficult take here for the terrorist side. That bomb retreating down mid. And now Imsta over there by Arch side. And let's see if Disciples going to be able to sniff him out here in just a second as he is going to be pushing up here, just waiting for that peak to come out. He's going to clear out the moto. They're going to throw the smoke over there towards Arch side and take out a chicken at the same time. But. Imsta around the corner, he goes for the repeat Disciple, holding down Mouse One's going to find that kill, and now they're going to converge onto the B-bomb site, and this is going to be on Demise. He went to Whiff City with that stat track Case Harden 5-7 the last time. Let's see if he can pick up a couple of kills this time. They did spot him out at New Box, so it's going to be a very difficult situation for him here. Yeah, he's going to have a bad time. He's even getting Molotov out of position. He gets forced over to Second Oranges, where they're just able to spur down the angle. He can't find anything. That's all up to Fruit on the... Re on the uh on the flank here, coming up banana for this retake, but it's a one on four. Not too much. Bex is going to swing out. He's going to take a bullet to the head, but still so much work here for Fruit to do. He does spot one at Spindles. Can't connect the shot quite yet. And Ace is playing this very well, not getting over peaky, not getting over aggressive, and they're just going to force him into an impossible situation and swing out at the perfect time and take him out 16-3. to An exclamation point win there for Ace Gaming.